Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about Amazon FBA, specifically how to package and prep items that go to Amazon's warehouses because certain items have certain qualifications that Amazon requires when you package and prep them. Let me go ahead and show you how I package my items according to Amazon's guidelines. Okay, so I just grabbed my son's stuffed animal as an example, but for plush toys, they need to be poly bagged. And I just purchased these off of Amazon. I have a link below. It has the suffocation warning on it, which is really important because that's a requirement for Amazon. And what I would do is, assuming that I had already put this into the system, I would use my little poly bag, seal it up, this is a blank label, but let's just pretend it is a SKU, an Amazon label SKU. I would stick it somewhere on the bag, and that's it, I'm done. Now let's move on to something like a clothing item, like a bra, t-shirt, pants, any clothing item has to be put into a poly bag, same process. So I would I'd put it into the bag, Seal it up. This is just a smaller poly bag and it still has a suffocation warning on it. And then assuming that I have a label skew, let's pretend, I would put that right somewhere on the bag and we are done. Or something like a video game. This is something I would not send in by the way because it's worthless, but let's pretend. I have these poly bags that work really great. Same deal. I put it in a poly bag just to keep it secure. This is a used video game. If this were a new video game, I wouldn't even bother with the poly bag. I would just put the label skew straight on it. But since this is used, I like to have it wrapped up. And then where there's a barcode here, I would actually put the label skew over that barcode. And the reason I do that is because it can be a little challenging for Amazon's employees to scan a barcode if it's through a poly bag. So I make it a little more convenient and I put the sticker on top of the poly bag over the game. Plus a lot of people when they purchase used games, they don't want a sticker over the barcode, they want it clean. So I do that for their convenience as well. For something like a game controller, first I would make sure the batteries are out. I never include batteries when I send something to Amazon FBA. That's something that I disclose because Amazon's warehouses do not like you to have batteries in their items. They can corrode. And what I do is I will wrap it up in some bubble wrap, tape it up on one side, tape it again on the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I would put this entire thing into a poly bag. Seal it up and then the barcode skew go somewhere on the poly bag and we're done. For something like a book, I do not even bother poly bagging books. I put the barcode sticker straight over the barcode and that is it. I put it in the box just like that. I have yet to have a single problem with a book purchaser <laughs> not being happy because their book isn't in a poly bag. For an N64 game or something without a case, this isn't very fragile, this is just how I do it. You could bubble wrap it, I personally don't see the point. I just put it straight in a poly bag. Wrap it up. Put the label skew on there, and we are good. So for something like a VCR, I will wrap the cord up and tie it securely with a rubber band. And then I will take bubble wrap, tape it securely around the VCR. So once it's all secured and bubble wrapped, you're gonna wanna put some plastic wrap around it. And then once it is saran wrapped, I still like to go around the edges with some tape just to secure it all in place. And then once I have taped it securely in place, I can just put the barcode label wherever. And it's ready to just go in my Amazon FBA box just like that. And if you're sending in something like a console that has many components, like a used Nintendo 64 that has the controller and the AV cables and the console itself, 
you're gonna want to individually wrap everything, put it in a little box that fits with some bubble wrap. You're gonna wanna use your thermal printer software to print off a sticker that says, this is a set, do not separate. I put that on the box with the console and then nothing gets separated by the Amazon employees. They know it's one set with one SKU. So this is a set, do not separate, would go on the box and so would a label that says the SKU or the barcode of the console itself. So that's how to do a game console. If I had one, I would show you. I um, hope that helps give you a rundown of how you're gonna prep your items for Amazon FBA. If you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up so I know to make more. If you have any comments or questions, drop them in the comment section below. And I have in my description links to the poly bags that I use and other supplies that I use for this video. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.